Hey guys, Nadja here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I just want to say welcome. If you are old and you've come back, I just want to say thank you for coming back. Guys, today I am going to be quick. Hopefully I'm going to be quick. I uh, just want to bring some wisdom to you guys. Now, if you are new to my channel, most of, if not all of the stuff that I bring to you guys is things that the Holy Spirit has allowed me to personally experience and I come to give you guys the experience in order to warn. It's almost as if, I, and I say this and I laugh about it, it's almost as if the Lord allows me to be the test dummy. So he tests it out on me so that I can see it, get the revelation from it, and then I bring it to you guys from a um, spiritual perspective and Holy Spirit led perspective on how to protect yourself, cover yourself, and to stay on guard. So this particular um, topic is specifically in reference to making sure that you are guarding your armor. Now, what does that mean? When we are praying for the full armor of God, when we are praying to be completely covered and protected, especially when we know that we have a godly calling and that God is using us, you have to make sure that you keep that armor completely sealed and that you don't allow not even a small snippet or crack in it at all. How do you get those cracks in your armor? Is by partaking in things that allows the enemy to slither through. Partaking in things that do not represent Christ. Okay? So for example, if you are fully armored... And then by the end of the day, you are enticed by something. And before you know it, you end up masturbating. You've now created an armor, uh, a crack in your armor. Okay. If you, let's just say you are a man who has been battling with pornography and you know that a certain time of day you typically begin to get tempted then you have to make sure that you keep that armor firm okay you cannot allow yourself to be tempted and see the thing is this the reason that this is important to know and understand is because yes we're not perfect right we're not perfect we're going to slip up at times but when we slip up for some of us not all of us there is warfare that's going to come after us because that crack has been created within your armor so just to give you an example of what happened to me okay because of what i do because i am putting myself out there on the forefront you know, on the front lines, I do deliverance. I'm speaking against witches. I'm speaking against witchcraft and wickedness. The enemy has his agents that can't stand what I do. Okay? So you guys see this, this part, but you don't see what happens behind the scenes in the spirit. You don't see the things that I, that other, like myself and other people like myself go through in the spirit because of our willingness to be on the front lines of this spiritual war so it is very important that people like myself make sure that we keep ourselves covered and protected and if we don't then we open ourselves up to spiritual attacks so there was one night that i was watching television i was watching netflix and there was a movie that had just come out on Netflix. This Netflix movie, literally the Holy Spirit from the beginning had told me, you shouldn't be watching this. All right. I, I, I will admit I ignored it because I'm like, there's nothing happening. This isn't, you know, this isn't, there's nothing about this. So I just keep watching the movie. I don't even remember the name of the movie. But the movie was about, you know, a, a couple who were 
it was like trafficking. They would they stole these two children, brought them into this house, and one of the children was actually one of the children they brought. The other child escaped out of the trunk or something like that, and the other child ends up killing the guy who kidnapped them, and it was just it did not seem like it was a lot going on but you could tell that there was a darkness behind the movie you could just tell there was a dark spirit behind this movie and i continued to watch it and it wasn't until after the movie was over that i'm like i shouldn't have watched that i shouldn't have watched that but by then it was too late i even repented i said lord I repent please forgive me for being disobedient and watching this movie so I end up getting attacked in my sleep or in my dreams yes I fall asleep and all I remember is sitting at a table there is me and my child sitting at a, t at a table and there is a woman that I know it's, it's so weird there was a woman that I know that's sitting on the other side of the table but yet she was invisible I couldn't see her but I knew she was there there was a book and it was almost like her picture or something was in the book and in the dream I take a pen and I start scribbling on her face and I said this is a witch and I'm scribbling on her face the moment I start scribbling on her face is when I feel the sleep paralysis come over me and I'm literally in the dream trying to make my hands come around her neck and choke her but I couldn't okay and I start praying in tongues in the dream all right and it and it released me see what people don't recognize or realize is when you're in a position like myself or even if you're not in a position like myself, but you just have a calling on your life. And so the enemy has agents, all right, lined up to send attacks your way. All right. You don't have to be in ministry for crazy people being used by Satan to try and send things to you. All right. And so what God showed me was in the spirit that there was a backlog. Okay. There is a backlog of attacks a backlog of incantations a backlog of things people have tried to sin that he has been blocking but when you create even a small crack within your armor one of those attacks can try to slither right in okay it tried to slither right in and it's not worth it I mean, just imagine that. Imagine there being a literal backlog of all these attacks of the enemy that are just being sent but being blocked. Okay, imagine a wall right here and all of these attacks or all these, <laughs> I just had a vision of um, like some zombies, right? Imagine there being a wall, you on one side of that wall, and then there's a bunch of zombies standing behind that wall that have been sent, okay? Those are deities that are on assignment that the, in, the agents of Satan, these people, are sending through their wickedness, but yet they can't get past that fire okay they can't get past that wall of fire because of who you are in the spirit but the thing is is that if you allow them to come in through that little crack because you have compromised in some area misjudged or did not listen to the Holy Spirit when he said you don't need to be watching this then it's almost like the arm of one of those zombies breaking through the cracks of that wall and reaching in and grabbing you he can't get all the way through to get to you but he's got his arm coming through reaching through to grab you 
So be careful with what you watch. Be careful with what you listen to. There's another video that I'm going to be doing in reference to this to kind of go a little bit more in depth in regards to your ears and your eyes, but they are gates and the gates are portals, which is an opening. So whatever it is that you're listening to, whatever it is that you're watching, there is a spirit that is behind whatever it is that you're watching or listening to. The same way that when we worship, we know that the spirit that comes through that portal and that comes through that door is the Holy Spirit. When we are singing things that are secular or that did not come from the Holy Spirit, there's a different spirit that is behind that music. And so when you begin to sing it and listen to it, okay, you don't even have to sing it. When you're listening to it, these ears... They're open, right? So there's an open door, an open portal for whatever spirit is operating through what you're listening to to come right on in and attach itself to you. So you must be very careful with what you watch. I've had another situation where um, this was before being born again, several years back, maybe seven years ago. I fell asleep to watching American Horror Story. I used to be someone that loved horror movies. I loved the, the, the scarier the better. Okay, thriller and horror movies were my thing since I was a child. So I fell asleep watching American Horror Story and I woke up in the middle of the night to an exorcism on the show. Do you know that that television literally is a portal so even when you are sleeping you are opening up things into your home by them coming through that television even in even if you are not coherent and aware of what's happening they are coming into your home through that television and that's another video I'm gonna do okay so I don't want to go too deep into that but that particular situation had me with a a uh, what, what is the word? There was a demonic presence that was in my home that was there for an entire week. I had to anoint my room and my home for a full seven days is what the Holy Spirit told me. I was sleeping with the light on because I was getting sleep paralysis. The spirit would not leave. I let a demon into my home because of what I was watching. All right. Now I'm sensitive in the spirit like that. I've been getting attacked with sleep paralysis since I was young, young, young. Okay. Um, probably early teens. I've been getting attacked with sleep paralysis since then. Before I was even old enough to really know anything about what sin was. Okay. The enemy knew what, what was attached to my life, but I had no clue. So I say all of this to say, guys, that when you wake up in the morning and you pray to God for the full armor, make sure that throughout the day that you don't do certain things that are going to keep you open to the enemy and then cause yourself unnecessary spiritual war. Okay. All right, guys, I love you. And that's it for me today. I will see you in my next video. Bye.